If you're looking to get more bookings for your float center, then the following message is for you. My name is Kyle from Maximum Floats. I don't own a float center, and I've never seen a waffle stomp in real life, so you might think my team and I are unqualified to be here. But in order to grow this industry, there needs to be people working on it rather than in it. We're not just marketers. We're die-hard floaters since 2017, and we can teach you how to get people running to your spa faster than you can say restricted environmental stimulation therapy. Uh, we've worked with these guys for a couple months and couldn't recommend them higher. In five hours, we had over 50 leads. Um, we've booked several appointments and we have more appointments on the books. We're very happy with our relationship with Maximum Floats Accelerator Program. It, it works and people really respond to it. And, uh, they kind of appreciate that personal touch. We were booked for like two weekends. Um, for two weeks straight, we were just pretty booked um, and we had one of the best the strongest Septembers we've had in like since 20, I mean, since ever, I think. We've partnered with over 57 float spas, spent over 200,000 in ads, worked inside three different centers, and right now we're ready to hand over the system to getting new float clients in your local market on your own. Are you ready? I'm the co-founder of Maximum Floats. I'm a wellness advocate, and I've actually operated a float center, and I love dogs. So if you guys have a dog at home and you want to show me a picture of your puppy sometime during the conference, I'd love to see them. Um, in the next seven minutes, my goal is to share with you the one thing that we've found that separates these successful float centers from the ones that are less successful. Okay, But first, I'd like to start off with a seemingly random question. Um, if you had to transform into another animal for the rest of your life, would you rather be a shark or an anglerfish? Okay, so how many of you would rather be the king of the sea, the shark? All right, awesome. And then how many of you would rather be this ugly anglerfish? <laughs> okay, less people on that one. So most of you chose the shark, and there's good reason for that. It's probably because the shark is the baddest creature of the sea. It's the predator. It swims super fast, and, you know, it can smell prey from over a mile away. Not many of you would like to be this ugly old anglerfish. That's probably because it's ugly. Um, it's kind of a loner. It lives deep in the sea and not where there's a lot of other fish around there. But if I were a float center owner, if I were to open a float center today, I'd rather be much more like the anglerfish. Here's the problem with the sharks. See, they're always chasing their prey. They never know where their next meal is going to come from. And the reason they can smell blood from a mile away is because they get so hungry after not eating for months, days, or weeks that they have to smell blood from a mile, a mile away. Here's what's so awesome about the anglerfish. Even though they're deep in the sea and they might not look very pretty, they get to eat whenever they want. Food comes to them, takes very little effort, and it works every single time. Why is the anglerfish in such a better position than the shark when it lives deep in the sea where there aren't very many, many fish and it's absolutely ugly? Well, it's because of one thing, and that is this little bioluminescent light bulb. It's an organ on the anglerfish called the esca. And how the ESCA works is it just turns it on whenever it gets hungry. Fish swim towards the light, and he gets to eat. It's as simple as that. And I call the ESCA for the anglerfish, the anglerfish's food attraction system. And in order for something to be a system, you need to have the same inputs equaling the same outputs. And every single time that it turns on the light, fish swim into its mouth, and it's able to eat. The shark, on the other hand, lives in a constant emotional spiral because it never knows where its next meal is coming from. This is the emotional eating cycle of a shark. All right? It gets hungry, swims around for days, weeks, or months, finds prey, eats as much as possible, gets super bloated, 
And then it doesn't know where its next meal is coming from because every fish in the entire ocean is swimming away from it. It wants to get away from the shark. The anglerfish, on the other hand, doesn't have to worry about its next meal. You see, it gets hungry, it activates the esca, fish swim towards the light, and chomp, the anglerfish is able to eat and have a full stomach and go to sleep happy, knowing that tomorrow it can do the exact same thing because it works every single time. So what on earth does all of this have to do with float centers? Well, I can tell you that some of the people in this room, if you own a float center, you've probably felt like a shark before. You've probably felt like you're chasing people to come, please try my flotation therapy center. You probably felt like maybe next month, I don't really know where my next customer is going to come from. You don't really feel like you have a predictable thing that you can depend on to get new clients to come try flotation therapy. The successful float centers are not like the sharks. Okay, because it doesn't matter if you have the biggest, baddest marketing budget. It doesn't matter if you have the quietest flotation rooms. It doesn't matter if you have the best team or the most amazing experience. Those things are important, but they're not as important as having a system that you can depend on to get new fly float clients coming to your center that works every single time that you can depend on. So let me ask the question again. Would you rather be the shark Never knowing where your next meal is coming from? Okay, nobody, how many of you would rather be the anglerfish now, knowing that every single time you turn on the light, people will come to you and people will come to your float center? Awesome. So at Maximum Floats, we give you an ESCA. That's what we're all about. We help you by giving you our paid advertising templates that we've tested in 58 different locations, spending over $200,000 in online ads, making sure that these are the best performing ads that you can just run in your local city, literally just take them, they look like this, you just take them, you put them up into Facebook and Instagram, and you can get customers this week. You literally could turn it on today and get customers this week. And this works even if the public thinks your float tank looks like a meat freezer. This works even if you don't have a big advertising budget, because we'll teach you one of the fastest ways you can get your customers who only came in once to come back in again, so you can actually have the money to put back into advertising. This works even if you're not good on the phones, because we've recently developed a system where when people say, hey, I wanna try out your float center, you can just text them back and forth and get them booked into an appointment. And this works even if you're not the best with tech stuff, because every single week, we have support calls where we'll actually help you one-on-one -on, -one on a screen share and make sure that you know everything that it takes to get your ads working profitably and all the tax tech stuff is covered by us. And this works even if you haven't gotten online ads to work in your city. Okay, I hear this a lot in the Float Collective. I see like, oh, direct mail doesn't work or online advertising doesn't work or Facebook doesn't work. It's just not true. You just haven't tried enough things. And Alex and I and Pepper, we, I mean, we have a team of four who are working full time at literally perfecting this one system. And we've been able to test it in four different continents, okay? You don't have that same level of testing if you're just doing it in one float center. We've done all the hard work for you. So the offer that we have at the conference, I would love to just share it with you here, but I think that it's not gonna be as relevant for everyone. Um, it's really gonna be perfect for people who own a float center and they're already successful and they wanna add another way to get new clients in. Or maybe you're struggling to get new clients in and you want your first way that you can depend on having new customers coming in on a weekly basis. Or maybe, this is a big one, you're tired of working with marketing agencies that are gonna charge you between twelve dollars and $20,000 a year to get you customers that may or may not ever come into your float center. And this is also perfect for you if you're planning on opening a float center and you're gonna be open for a couple of months and you want a way to get the word out. Okay, so however, depending on your situation, our product might not be the best fit, and we wanna make sure that it's gonna work out well for you. So what we're doing at the conference, if you've already talked by our booth, you can actually come and schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation with us. We're doing three 30-minute consultations where we're basically gonna figure out what's going on inside of your float center, and if our templates and advertising system can actually work for you. Um, we're gonna be doing something that we've never done before, in the past two years, and we're gonna be offering it at the lowest price we've ever made it available. 
So even if you've already talked to us before, this is going to be an amazing opportunity because we've thought about what we wanted to do at this conference, and we decided to make our product accessible to every single person in this room. Even if you feel like you don't have the money for something to invest into your business, I promise you, we've made it accessible for you. So this is going to be a great opportunity for you. And uh, of course, we're marketing guys, so we have to put in some scarcity here. Um, in the next two days, what we've done is we have 30-minute blocks with Alex where you can talk to him one-on-one, -on -one, and there's 37 blocks. I just counted them yesterday. So make sure that you get an opportunity to grab one of those blocks, and if you do it right before lunch, then you're probably going to get a spot that's not at like 10 o'clock at night. It'll be a little bit more convenient for you. And finally, just for scheduling a consultation, what we'll do is we're going to give you a free non-salesy sales training training for your float center. So all of you who are struggling to get memberships um, or having your team to sell memberships, this is going to be a two-hour live sales training where Alex will hop on with your team next week and actually help you get some more sales without sounding super salesy. Okay, so make sure to schedule your consultation right now before you go to lunch so you can get that opportunity. And thank you so much for having us. Um, I personally believe that the very best way that we can grow this industry as a whole is by using paid advertising to reach the people who would never have came into a float center unless they were exposed to it by something like paid advertising. Thanks so much for having us.